This tutorial is part of a YouTube playlist. You can access this and many more of the tutorials in this course. If you do like this YouTube playlist and you want to access the whole course, you can do on Udemy. The link to the YouTube playlist and YouTube course is in the video description. So let's start off by creating our project structure. So by understanding the basics of our project structure, we can start to see the, the flow of the application, start to understand this API factory approach. Right, so starting where we left off when we created the Postgres SQL setup script, I'm just going to clear the terminal. Let's remove some of these files. So the database has been configured and set up. We can leave that for now. Um, what we can do is just tidy up a little bit. We're not going to need the hello script anymore. So we can get rid of that. So let's just uh, delete that file. There you go. Okay. Right. So we're going to want to work with in a folder, a project folder. So what you can probably see here in this root directory, there's a lot of management features. So we're managing Docker in this case, we're managing the virtual environment. Here we have the scripts, which is part of the management of our Docker Compose setup. We have environment variables related to Docker Compose that's so in this top directory. And we have the management of our interface and how the linting and formatting tools are configured within our project. So we want to create a new folder. And the purpose here is to kind of separate this man these management features, if you like, with the project. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. Let's call this FK Commerce. So class Commerce, we're creating an infantry model or we're creating an infantry application for maybe an e-commerce system. So FK Commerce. So in this folder, this is where our project is going to reside. Everything related to our project, our API is going to reside in this folder. So we're going to separate our project a little bit further. So this is the root directory of our project, the FK Commerce. And then what we do is we'll create a new folder called core, and that will hold the or store or inside of the core folder, we will place all the files related to uh, the project. So inside of here, you're going to find, for example, uh, any apps. So we might separate our project further into apps to better manage our project. You're going to find in here all the routes and models and schema, anything related to our API directly or application directly. Now outside in this root directory, this FK Commerce, that's where we're going to find some configuration files and setup files for our project. So we're going to separate our project in that way. So inside of core, let's create a new folder. Um, that's going to be the inventory, inventory API. So that's where we're going to um, create our inventory API or set up many of the uh, features for our inventory API inside of that folder. Using Flask, unlike, for example, Django, where we have a very set defined way of potentially working or, or that it pushes you forward to that approach. Here with Flask, we can pretty much do whatever we want, but hopefully what I've just explained there is starting to make sense. We are um, dividing or breaking up our um, folder structure into logical parts to make it easier for us to manage our project, to find certain parts of the project. Hopefully that is starting to, to potentially make sense. Now you might completely disagree with this approach. And of course you can find and develop your own approach. Um, but again, I suppose in some respects, this is me being very, very biased because I understand this approach. Um, for me, it makes sense for where we're leading towards with this project. And hopefully I can impress upon you um, the reason why this project setup might be useful uh, to develop your application as and when we start developing the certain components of the application. So to summarize, we have project level uh, configuration at this top level, this root level of our project. We then have a specific application folder for our app our API application, API Flask application. Inside of here at the top level of the FK Commerce, we're going to start adding files related to managing the pro project. Inside of the core, that's where we're going to find related components related to the actual application. So our kind of business logic, if you like. 